Hey everyone, let's go ahead and take a little bit of time and talk about how we can modify our data type with inside of our commander. Okay, so over here I've got an example where we have a couple of different types of data that we're interested in. And remember, like our basic types of data that we have is we have numerical data and categorical. That's our two kind of big breakdowns. And then we have difference in here of discrete data versus continuous data for numerical and nominal and ordinal for categorical. Now, inside of our commander, uh, it basically takes care of numerical data just fine. We just have to make sure that it reads it as numerical. Uh, but it automatically by default puts everything as nominal data and sometimes we actually have ordinal data that we want to handle. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and capture all of this data that we have inside of our Excel and I'm just going to copy this guy and let's go ahead and bring it over to uh, our commander. So let's go to our data import and we can do it from our clipboard and with the tabs click OK. And when we look at our data set, it looks like that it has it all right here and we are doing just fine. All right, now what we can do with this is we can, um, we can go to our basic statistics and with our data, we can go to manage our variables in our active data set and we can change the variable type, which is really handy. So let's go ahead and click on that. And we can see by default, it's a, it's assigned gender and satisfaction to nominal and customer age to numerical. So we only need to make sure that the numericals get whether they're discrete or, uh, or continuous into our numerical. But if we have ordinal data, we want to get it over there. So to, this one's already selected. We can deselect it by pushing like control and click. And then what we want to do is we want to take satisfaction because we want to go from like extremely dissatisfied to extremely satisfied, like put it on the number line and we can take that and we can move it over to ordinal and then we can just go ahead and click OK. Once we do that, uh, a couple of things are going to have happened. Uh, so when we let's go ahead and look at like a graph. So let's do a bar graph and let's go click on satisfaction. And let's go ahead and click to plot it. Now it's been plotted as it's been plotted as ordinal, but the factor levels that we've put in are these factor levels, and the factor levels are only done by uh, by alphabetical order. So we're going to need to adjust those two and then when we do like our graphs and our frequency tables they should come out exactly how we want them. Okay so let's go ahead and take a look. So when we do this we can do our descriptive statistics uh, or we can go back to sorry data manage and we can do either reorder factor levels here or we can go to data manage and we can go to reorder factor levels over here. I'm going to stick with this side for right now and data manage variables reorder factor levels click on that so i'm going to go to satisfaction and i want to make this an ordered factor and i can go ahead and click ok and i'm going to do extremely dissatisfied as one dissatisfied as two neutral is three satisfied as four and extremely satisfied as five and i can go ahead and click ok and now when I do this, when I do this graph of this bar graph, and I do my satisfaction again, and I click OK. Now this time, check it out. It has put them in the order that we're actually interested in. So that is how we can force our categorical data uh, to be recognized as ordinal data and not just the nominal. Now when we have ordinal as well, when we do our frequency tables, uh, we want it to give us like the cumulative relative frequency and and some of those other things that we don't need with nominal. So when we go to like our descriptive statistics and we want a frequency uh, distributions for our qualitative or categorical and it says we have nominal variables and we have ordinal variables. So I'm going to go ahead and click by ordinal and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And here we have the counts, the frequencies, um, the cumulative frequencies, 
uh, or sorry, the cumulative count and the cumulative frequencies. So that is very handy that it will do all of that for you because we have it as an ordinal variable. So that's how we can uh, make our commander see uh, our categorical data as ordinal data.